Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Max and Bob and today we're gonna start a let's play series. We're gonna play Planet Coaster on harder mode. Uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna create a park. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with the cityscape for for this one. Oops. Let's play Planet Coaster. And then so we're gonna go in harder mode here. This is for everyone that's interested in seeing how I do and how ma how I manage the early stages of the game. I'm gonna pause real quick uh, before we get into it. This is not a like tutorial in the way that I'm gonna break down everything I do. I um, I expect that at least you know the controls and stuff like that i'm gonna if i do something that i think is a little bit more in depth i'm gonna tell you why i do that and uh, how it affects the game either way i'm doing this on harder mode because when i started playing this game i fell in love with it right away and i wanted to try the harder mode for for the case of the challenge and i didn't find any let's play or how to start or anything so i had to just figure it out myself and which is fine, you can do that, but this is what I've learned uh, through uh, my experience and I want to share you with you guys. So, and I'm not having any uh, DLCs uh, active. I have them, but I deactivated them. Uh, so all the guide is these two rides here. Mm. There is two way that I, uh, that I use to start. Either you go all in right away, you take out every loan and you max out to try to get things uh, going real fast, or you do it real slow and steady um, and really, really grind it. Um, but I honestly think for this one, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this uh, the faster way. Not because it's necessarily better, but it's more fun to watch, I think. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, um, that's enough talking um, <laughs> about this series, uh, let's play. So first we have the challenge here, we're gonna have a uh, 12 people visit your restaurant for two months in a row. I'm gonna remove that because that's not gonna happen in a while. Uh, restaurants are so expensive uh, and I find the uh, vending machines helping out a lot early. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't know if I'm gonna take out both loans right away. But I'm gonna build like um, like a main building here, um, which I'm gonna try to decorate for a while to get up the scenery rating real high. So and in there I'm gonna have eventually a restaurant, eventually a hotel. I'm gonna have the staff building, and I'm also gonna have uh, the queue lines for my two first rides go through the uh, through the building. So what that means it's like everything is gonna share the same scenery. So it's gonna be like a bigger building and it's gonna take some time. First off, I just wanna say that I'm not uh, in any way gonna try to make this park look as beautiful as possible and try to like decorate it everywhere. Um, that's not this <laughs> kind of tutorial. What I'm gonna do is um, straight like uh, how to get things uh, started. Uh, and how to get things going uh, but uh, it's gonna I'm, I'm not gonna be like I mean I'm gonna use some decorations uh, like this first building here for for instance um, get that yeah there we go. Uh, so I don't really mind that it's that it's Take is spending some uh, money here early because it's gonna be worth it in the long run. I I have the six meter uh, width of pathing here early for for the main road because this is where all the uh, guests are going and it's gonna be pretty crowded here. So I'm thinking maybe one more uh, on each side. This is the layout for uh, the foundation of this park. I'm gonna have the wild blue. 
or maybe we should do it. Now I'm thinking. Uh, I can use this wisdom. Oh, sorry. This isn't like. Huh? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna see if this works. If it does, it'd be pretty awesome. Uh, Oh yeah, good money. So I'm definitely gonna take out uh, the biggest loan first, because I'm gonna need that. And I'm right away gonna lower it up to 300 every month, uh, pay as little as possible early, because money won't be flooding in from, from the get-go. Um, okay, so that's gonna fit there, and I know the other one is gonna fit there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start uh, the building. Uh, and I'm gonna go with this material and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out so I'm gonna ha wanna have the wall piece there uh, wall piece there. I'm gonna move this uh, this around later framework gonna have the that one that one for that uh. Maybe even this one, actually. Hmm. No. Never mind. Uh, oops. And we're gonna have... That. This is for the queue lines, where they're gonna be. And then... Wall piece. Hmm. Yeah, wall piece there. Wall piece, wall piece. And then we're gonna bring in another one of those. And hmm. Maybe it's too wide. Yeah. That's yeah. So we're gonna do it like that. Then we go like this, like that, like that. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna Oops, wrong side. There. So as you can see now, I'm just building out the foundation of what I'm thinking. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, what I'm thinking is gonna be the the main building. There, we're gonna have another entrance. Like that. There we go. And this part here, actually, maybe I should remove this. Yeah, and that. Go with this tunnel piece instead. So we're building a tunnel all the way through there. <laughs> like that. So we are to copy this. Rotate it like that. Entrance there. I'm gonna tell you now what everything is gonna be. So this is gonna be for the queue line, uh, the queue line for one ride. This is gonna be the queue line for the other ride. This is gonna be a uh, locked in for a room. That's gonna be either staff building or toilet. And this one is gonna be that one. So one of these are gonna be. Uh, staff management, the staff room, or one and one is going to be the toilet. Here, this space here is going to be the hotel. So, this is going to be a hotel or a restaurant, doesn't really matter. And this one is going to be the, the other one of it. So, hotel, restaurant, hotel, restaurant, staff slash toilet, staff slash toilet, and queue line, queue line. Um, and then we have the like main road going through everything. 
What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this building and I'm gonna move it like this so we can line it up better here. I'm thinking like that. I guess that's pretty much pretty much dead center. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect, but it looks better than before. Uh, so now I'm gonna before I fix the building, I'm gonna go in here and put up this ride. I'm gonna have it like here maybe. Like that. And the Venetian carousel. Like that. I wanted to exit on this uh, road to the right here, this road. <coughs> Like that. I'm gonna have to extend this path. Oops. Like that. I'm gonna go. So now this one is gonna have the entrance. Uh, probably. I'm not gonna have it just there. I'm gonna build some here on the side. Then we will have the exit. The thing is, when I'm when I'm putting the exit there, and not like here, it is because I want the exit as close to this control panel as possible, and that is because of the mechanic. Uh, when he goes to inspect or even repair an uh, a ride, he will always go in through the exit, and he will go to this. Uh, control panel. So if I were to have the the exit like here, he would stand there and wait outside it until the ride is finished, and he would walk all the way here, walk here, sit down to the uh, next to this uh, control panel and do his thing, and then walk all the way back and go out through this exit, which is a waste of time. So what I want is the exit to be right there. So when the ride is done or when the ride is finished, he just goes in, he's doing his thing and then he just leaves and that's it. And since I, I it's a big it's a big factor because the there's a lot of inspections going on on this uh, when you play on hard mode. The rides break down so easily, especially this one. Uh, so you need to inspect it a lot. So what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the regular asphalt and I'm gonna remove the curve here uh, I'm gonna remove angle snap and go for free like that and then just I think that should be yep that's enough and then I can go the other way around doesn't even matter uh, there we go like that so now they're connected up uh, through this building and the point of this is because this building is gonna have a lot of it already has a lot of scenery with all these uh, parts but it's gonna be even more decorated and uh, have a nice touch to it uh, so it will give the it's like free Q scenery and what I want to reach uh, is scenery for everything here because the restaurant and the hotel they are affected by scenery the staff building is also affected by scenery so instead of building like five or six different kind of uh, spots of big scenery I'm building one major building uh, to like uh, so I, it's it's not cheating but I'm like making it, making it more easy for myself and it looks good to have like a big entry building when you get into the park. Um, I'm gonna keep on a uh, new challenge. Have a restaurant with at least two rooms. No, that's gonna, it's so far away uh, for me to get a restaurant. So I want other challenges instead that are more likely to happen. I'm just gonna build uh, uh, Oh no, yeah. So this part here, it's gonna be like this. So we get some some aesthetics in here. 
Oops, not just a, like a prison. Uh, oops. Uh, and now it's pretty much done for uh, for this part. I would say. Uh, yep, like that. And so now I'm just gonna put on a flat roof here. This and like that. There we go. Oops. There we go. Okay, maybe I actually this is just gonna bug me so we have in here as well otherwise it would look so weird in, from inside the tunnel so <laughs> I said I'm not gonna be too focused on the details and the uh, aesthetics but yeah this looks way better than before at least um, yeah so that's pretty much the the base of the building and uh, now it comes to decorating it get up the queue scenery and maybe I'm just gonna move it backwards a little bit is that possible or just want to... oh, that works. like that so we have some space here here to have signs and whatever uh, so we have six hundred dollars right now um uh, 45 q uh, some q scenery 44 on this one we're not sure why but yeah so now uh, it comes to the window first of all i want this to be pretty much i want this um spots to be pretty empty because i'm gonna have a lot of advertisement and science there uh, so what we're gonna go for first is do we have like a like a trim or something. Yeah, not that one. Maybe this one can work. The railing. Yeah. So we're gonna do just like this. This is every just to get a little bit more uh, details in. Uh, also, it's gonna up the scenery. Really? Can't have that? Too close to the... I think it's too close to the ride. No? Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna move the ride then. Those. Oops. Okay. Uh, well, that was disappointing. So, meanwhile, I'm decorating this. Uh, oops. I'm also thinking about what, what I'm gonna do next. I'm always like thinking what's the research and yada yada. So that's the railing done. Uh, this looks a little bit better. Uh, not gonna lie. That's six hundred dollars left. I need to get up get this up to one hundred percent scenery and start getting guests in here. Um, also, I'm pretty much right away gonna start um, researching this one uh, the gentle spin cycle this one is cheap it is bringing in a lot of money and it's worth it in every aspect um, so that one is a must in my opinion here we go windows 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 I'm using the position snap because I want them dead center uh, so we're gonna have uh, windows at the, at the top here that are wide open and big 
Beautiful. Just like that. Looks a bit better. Uh, and then we are. Hmm. Nope. Here on the side, this is gonna be the hotel or restaurant. I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna design them the same. They're gonna be like that and like that. And maybe here. Also like that. Well. Let's do it like that. I don't need the same, I don't want the same advertising on this uh, wall, but at least I want these two pieces to be freed up. Here I want more. Uh, so on this video, I'm only gonna put out uh, windows there. Like that. And then we're gonna have the balconies on this one. And this is what I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put that out, because now they're dead center. Uh, should I maybe <laughs> change the color on this? Uh, doesn't match at all. That looks better. No, that's terrible. Can I get like maybe just plain white or grayish? Not the same as that one. Yeah, this is. Sorry about this. I'm gonna copy. Uh, copy that. Then I'm gonna go in here into the color and paste that. Now they're the same color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them out on the same level like that. I'm gonna shift click on each and one of them, press down X and drag them down until I'm happy. And I think, I think like that perhaps, yep. And then I'm gonna duplicate all of them. I'm gonna... I thought I was gonna go down. No, I'm not. So I'm gonna do the same here. So, like that. Yeah looks good and then on the top we're just gonna put out some, some chimneys it's gonna have uh, two bigger ones there and then on there Maybe not that one there. So this is just to fill out the building. Uh, but there we go. It looks looks pretty good. I'm just gonna check out the queue scenery for the segment. Yeah, 85%. So we're definitely getting there. Uh, that's pretty much it for the building. Uh, not gonna do. So much more uh, from building aspect. Now it's time to decorate and stuff like that. So first off, um, we're gonna put out a cosmic cow vending machine pretty much right away. Uh, cosmic cow milk wall sign. So maybe like that, and then we're also gonna have. Uh, uh, pizza pen vending machine, maybe. Oops. Uh, should I go with that? Or should I go with that? Thinking this one. Like that. Uh, also adds to the scenery, of course. And facility design. I'm deciding right now that this is gonna be the toilet really matter but so we can just put up that sign over there uh, lighting 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 
gonna use the arm light uh, and I'm gonna turn it around we're gonna put one there we are gonna put let me see what we got here we're gonna put there there There. Uh, that's that song. Okay, so first off, we're gonna mark these two. We're gonna up them so they're right on, under the balcony like that. And then we're gonna shift click on these. We're gonna lift them up so they are right on that railing there. Uh, like that it's dark here so I'm thinking actually maybe on both of these yeah. shift click shift click shift click shift click x up 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 There we go. Uh, arm light here. Oops, not rotated right. Like that. And I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there. And then the same as oops, that side. Lighting is something I didn't used to do as much before uh, because it's like never dark and it's dark for such a short time. But I realized that it looks so much better uh, with good lighting. Uh, and it adds to the scenery so I'm starting to use more lamps actually uh, like that and up you go there challenge available at first oh keep nagging on this this restaurant duplicate have one there I think that both of these are, yeah, we lift them up both. So I had the other one uh, marked as well, so this one is also lifted up. So now this is how it's gonna look at night time. So if I put on 1 a.m., yeah, this looks, this looks nice. A little bit dark here, but what can you do? I think that's fine. There we go. Uh, you see the scenery. Is it 100 yet? It's 98. So the last thing I'm gonna do to make this look so much better is just have some wall climbers on. Um, first off, we're gonna have these. Uh, oops, maybe not aligned to surface. This one uh, beneath the lower windows. Makes it look a lot better. That. Not on this side though. Uh, so that's one thing. And then uh, we have. Oops. Mine's surface. Gonna have this wall climber uh, dropping from the from down from the top. And I need to put them like irregular so it doesn't look like a unnatural the one there and then maybe a little space in between and there can be even tighter and keep on going tight there and then have a little bit more space then over there like that same goes for this side here 
I'm sorry this is not the most interactive video and it's not helping out um, the most but this is also a big part of this game uh, like signing and getting the scenery up and this is gonna help my everything because uh, if you if you know and if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you so how to attract guests to the park uh, it depends on how many rights you have how good the rights are uh, and especially how beautiful the park is the more scenery there is the more guests they will attract um, so everything comes into play here so even if this looks useless I know I have 100% already on the rights uh, so I don't even have to do this but it's gonna add up so I get more guests and more guests means more money and money is pretty much pretty much essential to surviving in this game uh, as you can figure out uh, also it there is a challenge that might come what it says at uh, park scenery rating at uh, maybe 20 or 40 or whatever it is and this is helping a lot right now my park oh yeah because I haven't started the game yet. Uh, it's paused but I guess my park scenery now is like five or something uh, so it requires a lot to get it up to like 40 and even 20 so like that but this just makes it look so much more I don't know alive uh, yes you can see and it doesn't cost barely barely cost anything so I'm just putting it out there to make this entire building look so much more alive and keep the guests happy and so on and so on uh, I'm gonna save uh, I'm not gonna spend below below 100 because uh, I need uh, I need that for uh, I need that for buying the vending machine the cosmic cow I'm gonna wait to the pizza pan it's not even that important but the cosmic cow uh, milkshake machine is essential either way this is like um, so this is the only thing I'm gonna do that's gonna be like this decorated and stuff and that's only because it's the it's the main building of the entire uh, park but as you can see it looks so much better uh, with all this and then I'm gonna have some other ones um, like this one here that is coming up that, like that I'm gonna have signs on there as well but these are gonna be Yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I think it's time to open the park. Uh, I think everyone is ready for that, including me. <laughs> and I know you guys are, because this has been taking uh, roughly half an hour to construct, but now it's done. So we are first off gonna unpause the game, since the rides cost money when they are when they are active or when they are. I'm gonna wait until this dude, this Georgette Mahan, Mahan is coming into the park and probably gonna wait until uh, they enter the park as well. Then I'm gonna enter this one, uh, open this one and the other one. Because I'm losing money now by every second because of the big loan that is there. So open that one up and open that one up. And the pricing. I don't know there's no I don't know there's some sort of algorithm but I'm going with my own so I think every store is five dollars so this one I would take like 11 or 12 for right now uh, and this one just simply five uh, and now they're in the park oh and I forgot to buy the cosmic cow for uh, there is no exit I paused the game real fast and that's really good. I missed that one. Uh, luckily for me. Uh, oh, I want the curb here. I'm just gonna go with the angle snap so I get it uh, right out there. Oof, 
That can be devastating. Nineteen dollars left. Thank you for that. Oh, there we go. Uh, as I said, I didn't have enough. Uh, I forgot about the cosmic cow vending machine, but I'm gonna put it out uh, on this side and pizza pan on this side, or maybe reverse. Doesn't matter. Uh, maybe even here. Uh, and then I'm gonna advertise from these signs to them, and I'm gonna put up more signs, and more advertising. Um, so as soon as I get the money up, uh, we get to that. So now I need people to come here, pretty much. Oh, there we go. There's some people. Oh, they're running. They're happy. Their thoughts. They have. Oh, they have decent money with them. So he's got something. Park entry is free, because uh, right now, there's not much to do in the park, so I don't want people to not even enter the park because of the entry fee of a few dollars, so I'd rather have them in the park. Um, so what I realized uh, by playing this game is that the most important thing is to keep the guests in the park. Uh, to get them here, that's no problem, they will, they will come, but just have them stay here. And that's a lot of things that's um, uh, coming into effect there. So if I can just, can I target now? If we take the, uh, this family for example, they have four hundred dollars with them. When when the, when that money is over, when that money is done, it's done. So so I need to pretty much get an ATM as soon as possible so they can withdraw more money, and also uh, to get a hotel is good because when their energy is is uh, running out they can either like take a soda or slushy or something to get some energy but they can also stay at the hotel and sleep and spend a whole nother day here so atm uh, foods and drinks hotels and gift shops to keep them happy that's what you need pretty fast and I'm not a big fan of these shops where you have the vendors. Um, for me, uh, it's gonna take some time before I get the like the um, chief beef shop or um, whatever it is, the gulpy soda shop or anything, because it is so much more expensive than just having a vending machine. Uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, but now, for now, thinking oh. Also, we need benches here. So we're gonna go with the blue ones, just basic, simple. One under there, one under there, one under there, and one there. Also, we're gonna have uh, there, there. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, and some of this. Uh, path here because when they come out from this uh, wild blue they are pretty much they're pretty nauseous after that right uh, so they would like to sit uh, I'm also gonna preparing with like bins uh, bins and stuff uh, for the um, uh, for the vending machines that are coming and I don't want litter on the ground that's not good for park rating uh, and as I said the park rating is what people think about the park and how willing they are to come here uh, at all oh the research yes oh yeah okay so that's that's why I'm not making any money because I still have the research okay so that's that's good actually that's good but I'm still pretty much in the green and I'm researching for 500 every month and I'm paying off this loan for 300 so 800 minus every month on park management and still pretty much breaking even so that means the park is going pretty good uh, I might actually yeah I might just pause this one for a bit to get out both the vending machine uh, for and this one and the pizza, the pizza, uh, pizza pen. I think. Uh, challenge available. It's your park rating of 400. Park rating now is 247. 
Okay, so that's that that one I'm gonna keep because that's gonna that's not too far off. Uh, 400 park rating. Get a few more rides. Get some more scenery. Get some gifts. Get some entertainment uh, and stuff. It that's not impossible at all. Uh, so now I'm thinking. I don't know where I want to put this. Maybe along this, maybe like, oh, uh, that's maybe the sweet spot. So maybe I should put that one there. Uh, and I'm gonna go in, uh, click into that, and I'm gonna change the price on everything up with one dollar, three dollar to three fifty, uh, and four dollar. So I increase everything with one dollar, uh, pretty much. And I'm gonna have it inspected every 120th minute. This one is gonna have to be inspected every 10 minutes. Uh, because it sucks. This one, 20 minutes should be enough. So it's, uh, so now this one is up. And I'm gonna put out the pizza, uh, pizza one. So yeah, the pizza pen. And then maybe we can put them together like, like a building here. Uh, Mm-hmm. No, it is. I want it to be more like this. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same with this one. Increase the pricing with one dollar and everything. So three to four, three fifty to four fifty, uh, four fifty, four fifty, and inspection every one hundred twenty minutes. And I'm gonna start this one again. <coughs> Pretty soon I'm gonna have to get my staff now. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. You see the queue here? Yeah, they love this. Oh, yeah, that's why I haven't increased the pricing. Oh, I'm so stupid. 16 and 7. Oh man. That lost me a few, uh, a few bucks, not gonna lie. I was so focused on getting the vending machines and. Oh, uh, anyways, it is what it is. Pizza pen, this sign here, set advertised uh, destination to that one. Yes. The Cosmic Cow, advertised destination to not the white blue, to that one. Yes. Uh, that's that. Also, uh, <coughs> gonna put up some signs. Uh, like this guest sign here. I'm gonna lower it down. Uh, and then I'm gonna have the king coaster sign. Uh, maybe like that. Put them both. Uh, like that. And set advertised destination to the rides. And to the rides. So that means when they see these signs, they're gonna be like, oh, this sign is telling them, so check out this white blue, and check out the Venetian carousel that's here. Uh, I'm also gonna pause the game real fast, and I'm gonna move this one. Um, first, I'm gonna remove half here, 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 there. I'm gonna move this one uh, along the blue axis here, and I'm just gonna place it there and I'm gonna build a new path this one straight forward like that uh, so the entrance isn't right up here and then I can move these to oh I can't can okay so I'm gonna move that and put it like here instead, and this one right there. Oh, there we go. Now we're in the red, but that's expected. Uh, this one has to be. I don't want to hire a mechanic yet, so hopefully, get the research done first. Pretty much, it doesn't matter, but it just it would help. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, but what I'm gonna do when this one is researched and done is I'm gonna take out another loan probably. Because uh, I said I was gonna do this like the fast way. I'm gonna take out the, the second loan and right away I'm gonna build that one, the, the general skin cycle. I'm gonna put it thinking here. Uh, have uh, people go into this area as well uh, so I'm building that one up there and also I'm gonna build it, put out the staff building and I'm gonna uh, put out the mechanic and uh, a janitor but I mean we're still making money so shouldn't be too big of a problem eight more days for this one I'm gonna check this one out real fast uh, yeah, so I guess it's time for a mechanic. <laughs> so he's gonna re uh, inspect that one and then, yeah, it's fine. Uh, there's not a lot to do here. That's, this is how it is. <laughs> this is hard mode and the money isn't just pouring in at the early stages. It's just, uh, that's just how it is. Not much to do about it. I'm gonna put in the, uh, the staff building here. Do, do, do. But I'm not gonna open it yet. I'm gonna have it closed so it doesn't uh, drain any money for me because they don't need to rest uh, yet. The staff. So here I think it's gonna be a good spot for the <coughs> for the gentle skin cycle, the whirly rig, I think it's called. Uh, so that's that's done pretty. All these staff things are closed. Yeah, I know. Research is done. The whirly rig. This one is bringing money and it's cheap. It's only like eight hundred uh, bucks. So add a new loan and reduce that to 150. Also pay as little as possible uh, in the early stages. Whirly rig. I'm thinking. Actually, I'm thinking like this, maybe like that. And then we have the entrance there, and we have the exit right there so the exit is always close to the control panel uh, and the pathing uh, I'm actually gonna try and keep this like this and move that like that hopefully I get a lot of this scenery on the queue 56% I was hoping for more actually <laughs> Um, but that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna open that right away. Gonna take five. I'm, I think I'm gonna. I, I think I can notch this up to nine or something uh, when it's one hundred percent. So what we do? What we need now? It's um, uh, flowers and trees and stuff. I think the actually, yeah, I can look through here. So just putting out random trees here and there, and rotate them every every time, so it doesn't look uh, unnatural. One there, rotate. You can mix both uh, aut uh, the autumn ones and the regular ones like that. So that's that's not too bad. Uh, and then bushes. I like to use the rose bush. Uh, I'm not gonna have the line to. So like that, and just stick them together like a big. Bushy bush bush. And then some green bushes over here. That. Uh, can also have. Oh, look at the iron wood. Also putting some flavor on here. So I don't want to overdo it. Uh, but in the same way, I like it when it when it is a lot of colors and it's 
uh, when it looks beautiful in the light. Uh, uh, we can have one, one of them there. Maybe have three there, and then that one there, there. It really doesn't matter, just adding up to the scenery. Uh, it's a 99%, so um, I'm just. Crimson King. That's a lot of color to this. The maple tree looks good. That's 100. Uh, so this one is not gonna increase its prestige until this until this ride is done. So when it's done, I think it's gonna be like here, and I'm gonna take eight or nine for it, depending on what. But this looks. This area looks beautiful. Uh, flowers and cozy, cozy and. Awesome. And now we're making money. We have uh, $540. Uh, and I'm going to open up this staff building now. Uh, and I'm also right away going to start the research on the twist and spin. The, the twist and spin is the scissor. Uh, it is... It is also generating good money. The other one here is the suspend your disbelief. It's the insanity. It cost me 2.6k to just build, and it breaks down all the time. Speaking of, I'm gonna train you. Increase your salary with five. Oh, with ten. Uh, it breaks down all the time, and it's so frustrating because it's never up and running, and it always breaks down and guests always get their money back from the queue and I just hate it so I'm never using that anymore I used I used it a lot uh, before but not anymore this one is almost the best uh, the most efficient one to have uh, soon it's done I hope and you'll see how this is gonna be almost two stars yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna take nine for that so that one is gonna generate me a lot of money inspect every 20 minutes uh, it, that's how it is and uh, this is how I start uh, one way of the you can start there's no like right or wrong but I like to do it this way because it looks it looks good it uh, but it is expensive with all these loans so you need to always be productive with your cash and always have something new uh, going build the coast with at least three uh, 3.0 excitement that's gonna take a while as well uh, we're not at coast of money yet but all the all this one I'm gonna look for is to get the park rating up now, because uh, we get one k for this. So when it's reached four hundred, it's not far off. Uh, gonna get one k, and also I want to have as many guests as possible. So now it's one hundred sixty three. I'm always gonna look. I look at this like every five minutes at least to see okay how am I doing, how are the guests, uh, and check out the guest thoughts, what they think. Okay. I wish the park had a toilet. Obviously, it is time for a toilet. I uh, forgot about that totally. So, come in here and buy a toilet. Like that. And that one is not going to make me any money, but I'm just going to take $1 for it. Uh, just so I don't lose 100 every month. So, maybe I just lose 50 or lose 60 or something. Because every dollar counts uh, here. Also, we can start to take entry fee now. Uh, I'm thinking two and one, so it's not big money, but I mean it's fifty dollars there, one hundred dollars there. Everything adds up. So, and this one is gonna uh, generate so much money. This one is not generating me so much money. It is just here to be here. That's <laughs> because uh, it's one of the rights you have from the start, and you have to build it sort of. Um, so what? Uh, what I'm gonna uh, prioritize now is this this one is gonna take some time to research as soon as possible I'm gonna train this one again and again and again because I want him to be at least level four uh, pretty soon because the better he the better he is trained the more uh, of this he's gonna fix every time he inspect it and I don't want this to break down because that means that everyone here is leaving the queue they're gonna get all their money back and half of them is going to leave the park. So it's a big loss of income. Uh, 
but now when he's uh, a newbie or when he's not so highly trained, he always he only fix like like this bit, uh, maybe like five tops ten percent of uh, of this meter, so it's never full. But when he I'm gonna request an inspection right away, so he's gonna wait. So as soon as this one is uh, done, he's gonna go in and inspect. So I don't want that one to break down. This one doesn't break down as frequently. You see, this one is almost pop green and the same goes with this one it rarely breaks down as well now you can see here on the reliability high high and this one is average so this one breaks down more often than the other rides so that's why anyways i think that's it for episode number one uh i hope you enjoyed it uh, the first <laughs> first half of it wasn't as exciting it was just building and decorating this main building um, but uh, I think it looks good now, uh, the building. It adds so much to the park and it, it's kind of like a grand entrance, uh, which is nice. Next episode, uh, we are going to uh, hopefully uh, build this one. Or we are going to build that one. Uh, and after that, we are also going to research even more and keep the park growing. Um, even maybe research the hotel, but I don't think that's going to be until episode number three. Uh, but we will see, we will see. So anyways, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm Max and Bob, and please leave a like and a comment. See you in the next one.